Are you done? Hey, oh, you want to play with it? Oh, I didn't know you were a cop. Right through your fucking head. I didn't know you were a cop. I'll put a hole right through your head. Pull okay, 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 okay. You know, not even a cop. I'm a fucking method detective. And you went through that fucking road. You I didn't see a sign. I didn't see Give a sign. Don't worry, there'll be a cruiser here in two seconds. I'm sorry, I didn't see that sign. This is this my first time? Asshole. Never mind, you're lucky I'm a cop because I've been beating the fucking piss out of you right now. Jeez. Give me your license. I just want to let you Give know. Give me your license. I also want to let you know. Give me your license. Okay, I just want to let you know. I also have a dash camera. That's nice. So you'll get, so I'll seize that. I'm going to seize that camera when you almost hit that car head on when you went through the rotary the I wrong way. I didn't see the rotary. I, me I messed up. I'm seizing your camera. Thanks a lot. I mean, I have to let you know, it's the law. Hey, Steve Laverde, I'm at the PD. Yeah? Hey, okay, Romeo Cruz is 16 High Street. Yep. Thank you. Oh, must take the camera up from season. When I write you for driving to a danger. I didn't, mean, I swear to God, I didn't see any signs. I just was driving straight, I was following the line, and then I noticed it when the car was coming Please. at me. You screamed right at it. I wasn't going fast at all. I was going 25 miles an hour. I have GPS as well on my camera, which tells you the speed. I'm glad you have the camera. We'll be season. You know you're going to be an asshole and try to back up on me and take off? I didn't see you were a cop. I saw you reaching your pocket, and I'm from Lowell, Massachusetts, so I, I, thought, you had a, I thought you had a gun. ID. I thought you had a gun. I thought you had a gun, so I got scared. I didn't show you the gun, showed you my badge and ID. I didn't, well, all I see is you're reaching through your pocket and you're coming at me aggressively. I'm gonna run, it was scary. You see the car head on. Shut it off. Shut it off. Why do I need to shut it off? You wanna take off? Go ahead. I'm not going, any, I'm not going anywhere. I'm asking you why I have to shut, shut my car off. off. Why? Shut it off. Why? Why? Yeah, why? You might flee on me. I'm not gonna shut flee. Shut it off, right now. All right, well. Shut your car down, right now. I don't know. I don't know. He was yelling at that he was gonna shoot me. He was yelling he was gonna shoot me. I got scared. No. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Would you be willing to say that to them for me? Would you be willing to say that to them to me? Because. Because you, you guys would be really useful if you just if you guys if you guys don't mind sticking around and just helping me out because because that that guy I thought that guy was gonna kill me he was yelling at me I was super scared I I'm terrified what's going on hey how you doing I um I don't know who that guy is but he's one of our detectives yeah he told me that but I didn't know that and he was super aggressive at me, he was yelling, and he jumped out of his truck, and he yells that he's gonna blow my brains out, and so I, I got scared, and I threw it in reverse, I'm like, what the hell's going on, like, I don't know this guy, you know, he's got tattoos, he's got a wife beater, um, you know, where I'm from, I, I grew up in Lowell, Massachusetts, it's a rough area, when someone says they got a gun, they usually got a gun, so I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna get the hell out of here, but, you know, then I, he was yelling that he's a detective, and then he pulled out his badge, and so I pulled over, and now, now, I mean, we're right here. You live in Malden now, right? I do, yes, sir. How long have you lived in Malden? Uh, for a year and a half. A year and a half. So you're actually operating a motor vehicle without a license, seeing that you haven't changed they your don't, residency. They don't... They seeing don't, that you haven't changed your residency. I'm sorry, can I speak? They don't send you... The RMB doesn't send you stickers anymore. They stopped doing that in 2007. 
and I've moved since 2000 or since the last time I got my license renewed. I've been moved every year. So you'll be getting a citation from me in the mail for driving to invasion. Okay. I'm not locking you up right now. Oh, sir, can I just tell you, I also have a dash camera, which has a microphone. I will be seizing that. I'll be writing a subpoena. Okay, I just want to tell you because I know that it's illegal for cops to be recorded without knowing. And I just want to tell you that. Illegal what? It's illegal to record a cop without them knowing in the state of Massachusetts. Or at least it is in Boston. Whatever you want, sir. As long as you have that rotary recorded, I'll be taking that. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't see any signs. I got, you know. Can I. Okay. You'll be getting a citation for me. I understand. I understand. As far as the uh, the change of address thing, they don't mail out the stickers anymore, but you are Correct. still required to affix something to the back, so you can write it out on a piece of paper and then put it on there, put a strip can of I, like, something over it. Okay. All right. That's, I what didn't... I on, that's what I did on mine. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Like, I used to write it with no, a permanent you do, marker. You have, to notify the, uh, you have to notify the registry in writing. I did. My car and to, everything uh, is registered under it here. And you have, to, uh, you have to put something on there and put a strip of tape or something to affix it on there, but... Uh, they don't mail out the, the they don't mail out the stickers anymore. You are not the stickers anymore. You are correct with that, but you, you do still have to attach something to uh, okay. the I, license. It says like uh, yeah, put it in permanent ink, and I used to do that, but it just because I'm yeah, yeah, it rubs off. Write it on a strip of paper, put the paper on there, and then get some like industrial strength scotch tape, put it over the back, it'll hold it on there. It stayed on mine for like five years. So. Okay, all right, cool. I'll do that. I didn't know because like like I said, it just would like rub off, or I'd move, and I'd it, I'd have no more room to put it, so it just whatever. You got to put it on there somehow. So okay, I understand. Right, right on the paper, put it on, put the tape over it to seal it up. Okay. Uh, well, can I talk to you guys a little more? Can I talk to you guys a little more? No, you're, you're, you're free to leave. You're all set. You can go. Yeah, but I want to talk to you guys a little more. You don't uh, You don't have to talk to me, guys. Um, you know, like I said, I have a dash camera and everything was recorded. And, uh, I mean, this guy jumped out and he's yelling that he's going to blow my brains out and stuff. And uh, I'm... All right. Well, he already informed you. He's gonna he's gonna issue you a citation. So when you get it, there'll be a box on the back to check off that you wish to make an appeal, and you can bring all that up when you go to appeal the ticket. Okay. How can I bring a video to court? You'll have to talk to the court about that. That goes through them. Okay. Because you can't bring any cell phones into the court. So I understand. Have, no, that's why to, I'm asking. So you'll have to arrange that through them. I'm sure you'll have ample opportunity to try and arrange that through the court. Don't forget, forget to bring your dash cam, the video of you going through the rotary the wrong way and almost hitting two cars head on, and one of them being me. The, the longer you stay here, the more the more trouble you're just gonna get into. So I understand. The, the stop has ended. You're all set. You're free to leave. So I. I